first, I'll introduce myself, David Bessemer. I am the Vice President of Engineering at OmniSci. I've been with OmniSci about two years. So if any of you remember MAPD, that's OmniSci. We rebranded to OmniSci about a year and a half ago. We're about six to seven years in, in building our platform, which includes a database. We are venture funded. We are in Series C. We've raised about 92 million so far in funding. And we've got hundreds of organizations using the software. As I mentioned, we have an open source community and there are people in our commercial space that often start with the open source just to see if it really does what we say it will do. And then they will come and talk to us about a commercial license because you can do clustering and HA. If you're looking at the raw data, which again, when we're talking big data these days, we're talking billions and billions of rows of data, you are having trouble getting the performance that you need to actually analyze it. So over the years, we've done a really good job of doing things like pre-aggregation or subsetting or lots of complicated indexing to try to improve the performance and make it so that you can actually get the insights that you want. Unfortunately, in doing so, we usually lose the detail. And so this pre-prep of the data doesn't allow us to drill down and actually have the fine grain insights that we hope to have. There's been a proliferation of products and tools and options for doing various parts of this problem. Really what we have is a platform and that platform is combining our server side and our client side tool to give people a better experience in analytics. So we actually have a multifaceted approach to the problem here that does not limit ourselves just to the database. We think that this problem is more effectively solved by having a complete experience for the customer. Our product is enterprise software. There are really three main components to it. There's the OmniSci DB, which is our database, accelerated by GPUs and also runs on CPU in a hybrid mode. We also have a graphical rendering engine that leverages GPUs. Both the database and the rendering engine run in the same server. And then finally, our third component is Immerse, which is our front-end analyst tool. It runs in a browser, it's JavaScript-based, but it works with our database and our rendering engine to provide an experience that is really not available anywhere else. It allows you to interactively query and visualize billions of rows with interactive response times. It allows you to integrate with data science workflows over billions of records and really give you an experience of working with the raw data, but also being able to summarize and aggregate and cross filter in ways that you really couldn't do with these size data sets in the past. We're obsessed with taking this very high performance combination of CPUs and GPUs and building software that can leverage those components to their fullest extent. We've put together a system that allows you to take the results of a query and actually build the visualization of it on the server side and then move the resulting image back to the client. It's really part of the native experience of using OmniSci is being able to have this geographic context that you put your data in. On our website, we have a collection of public demos that you can go look at. I'm gonna jump into the shipping traffic demo here. The data set that we're working with here are all ship movements in US waters for about the last 10 years. Everything that I'm going to do here on the screen is being done against 11 and a half billion rows of data. Obviously the granularity of the screen is not 11 and a half billion rows, but the idea is as you zoom in and you get closer and closer to the data, you can actually zero in on the specific row if you want to. All of these charts on the screen are actually connected and cross-filtered. So for example, I can click on anti-pollution vessel here and immediately all the charts update. And we've just issued six different queries against 11 and a half billion rows We've taken the result of that and re-rendered the map, re-rendered the timeline, and updated each chart. 
So you can see that the interactive nature of this on 11 and a half billion rows is still sub-second. In this case, it's about a half a second. This is a quote from one of our customers. The moment that I saw six billion rows of our data for the first time on a dashboard, it was like a muddy windshield suddenly cleared. And then on the right, our US government federal business is also thriving. They took a query that was taking 18 hours on their existing infrastructure and they loaded the data into OmniSci and the result came back in less than a second. We get these gasps from our customers that they've actually discovered that they can work with their entire data sets. So we see all of these markets as growing and we have customers in all of them, but the most active right now are telecom and Fed. As you think about where our customers are finding problems that really need this kind of power, it has to do with the large volumes that they want to explore interactively and they have geospatial data as part of them. Our mission is to try to bring analytics to everybody and make it instant, powerful, and effortless.